What's going on YouTube, GeoSnorik here. Today we're talking about iOS downgrading, especially for the newer devices, like the iPhone 14, 13, 12, 15, stuff like that. So as you probably know, downgrading used to be possible and you required saved SHSH blobs in order to do it. Saved SHSH blobs essentially saves the response that Apple gives when you try to downgrade to a version. Now, every time you restore your device, if the iOS version is signed, for example, these in here, which are signed for this iPhone, the device will actually perform a check and it will verify the response with Apple. And if Apple says it's not signed, you're going to get an error. Now, what we used to do was to save that response back when it was still signed, for example, for iOS 17.6, so that once it becomes unsigned, I can still use that response from earlier to trick the device into believing that it's still signed. That's in a nutshell how SHSH blobs used to work. And they have been the pillar of iOS downgrades for literally years. So we have tools for this purpose. For example, we have Blob Saver over here created by Air Squared. It's this one over here available on uh, GitHub. And this tool still works to this day. And I definitely recommend you to save your blobs once in a while. And you're going to ask me why? If it's not possible to downgrade that easily anymore, why you should save the blobs? Well, because it takes just a couple of seconds. You can just connect your device to the computer, press a couple of buttons in here, and you have the blobs saved. Which means that in the eventuality that at some point we find a method or we develop a tool that can bypass the new changes in iOS, introduced in iOS 16, you might be able to downgrade in the future. However, if you do not have the blobs saved, you will not, because those are indeed mandatory. We cannot skip those. So what's the issue? issue with iOS downgrading. Well, we have the document in here from Cryptic from last year that explains it very, very well. I will link it down below because it makes a lot of sense for you to read it. It also explains how downgrading used to work, but TLDR, essentially in iOS 16, Apple introduced some new component called Cryptex One, which is a virtual co-processor that they use for the rapid security responses update. And that essentially prevents us from downgrading, not because it's made to do that, but because it's almost always incompatible from one version to another, which means that you can downgrade with saved blobs, but only from minor versions. For example, from iOS 16.3.1 back to 16.3, from 17. Point, let's say 6.1 back to 17.6 and stuff like that. Going from one major version to another definitely breaks that Cryptex component. They're not compatible and the downgrade fails. That's the whole reason iOS downgrades have stalled in the past couple of months because we don't have a solution to fix that Cryptex component at the moment. But you should still use Blob Saver in order to save your SHSH2 blobs. Even if you cannot downgrade right now your device because of Cryptex, we might be able to come up with something in the future. We might be able to find a workaround. Using this is pretty simple. I have this article in here that demonstrates how you can do it. It's not a complicated procedure to save your blobs. And even if they are completely useless now because of the Cryptex component, component, as I said, you might find a use for them in the future. As new tools get developed, as new techniques get invented, we might be able to use them again in the future. So it's still a good idea to save them. No, you cannot downgrade right now. Downgrades are indeed dead at the moment on iOS on anything newer than let's say iPhone XS or XS Mac, but you should still save your blobs. It's still as important as ever, even though some people believe it isn't. So you should definitely take the few seconds, save them just in case, because you never know. So thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, peace out.